and welcome back. I just had an episode where I completed a lot of stuff, managed to keep a spare part for I don't know why, and encountered a bridge that did not want to go all the way down. So I'll get a bigger rock, and I'll make it come down. Eh. There, that seems sufficiently heavy enough. <laughs> eh. Booyah! Now, the way that was previously available, the way currently available. Previously available, currently available. Previously available, it is. Got to follow the laws. Cistern? Uh, do I want to go in the cistern? What's the other way? I'll probably end up going in the cistern regardless, but... Ouch. Well, that wasn't good. So, Daniel is not a very good character for platforming. Good to know. I'm gonna carefully walk. Jump. Morgue. Cistern or morgue? Yeah, I'm going cistern. First, it was the previously available area. And next, if anything, there's going to be more monsters in the morgue. Because that's how they roll. I guess I should give him a little... Bandaging. I don't know. A few cuts and bruises. There you go. All's good and crystal clear. The way it should be. The beautiful wild orchids seemed a testament to nature's strength, being able to grow inside Brandenburg. Alas, it was Alexander's studies and care which enabled the thart to blossom. There's water. There's water. It's creepy. Serving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like for drinking? Eh, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. Well, thanks for explaining that for me. There's red specks in the water. This does not seem like a good setup. So I'm gonna run. It's being deceptively quiet in here. chest. Do 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 do. Fintmar echoes to the large empty chamber. Yeah, that does not sound at all like it's going to be a problem, does it? Oh shit. Read the note. August 1839. 
There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Yeah, and by the look of things, I don't think that turned out so well. Crank. Okay, th that really does not seem good. Jump. Speed up frame rate. I'm not using this sucky platformer to do sucky platforming. While well, there's a water monster. And I know you're there. Don't even try to deny it. Stairs and stairs. Water monsters back there. I'm gonna run for the furthest stairs. What? Timing. Ow! Uh, timing! Ah! Uh. Okay, th my timing sucked right there. Learn the timing. Learn the timing. That's right. And crank. on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. As well you should. More creepiness. Oh, the steam seems to have finished. Okay. So, so that lever has the sole purpose of disabling that trap. 
Great. And there is a staircase this way. So... Running, running, running! Where's the staircase? Oh, I don't care about the staircase. I'll climb on the rocks if I have to. If I can. Shit. Where is that staircase? Stop slowing down, frame rate. I need to get out of this water before the water monster decides to come. And don't think I'm crazy. I know it's out there. I know it. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Daniel's crazy, but I'm not crazy. Okay, Daniel's not crazy, but I'm still not crazy either. Rack. Booyah! I'm such a good throw. Eh? 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 that's because of the avalanche around it. Back up frame rate. When you suck, I suck. And I don't want to suck. Because there are water monsters. And I'm not crazy. They really are. A note. 9th of August, 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, Daniel. And crank. Huh. And that seems like a good place to stop. I shall see you guys next time. As I escape the cistern.